Do you think there was animus because you left? Or was it because you went and you, you joined LeBron and D. Wade in Miami, which were the enemy, the nemesis? Well, let, let's put it like this. Who, who are the Boston Celtics rivals? At that time, it was... No. Like, oh, period, the Lakers. Oh, right. The Lakers. So who, you can't say that they're the rivals. Like, At that time, Ray, you could. That's, that's time. not rivals. You Ray, you won, you won the title in 2008. LeBron comes there in 2010. They go to the finals, bro. They lose to Dallas, and, and then they get you. You don't have who, to call who it rivals. Who are the Miami Heat rivals? Well, I, I mean, at the time, I thought it was y'all. The New York Knicks. Oh, come on, not at that time. The, who are the, who the, just, who just, the Boston hold, Red Sox rivals? Hold, 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 did you just bring up the Knicks with a straight face? Yeah. At that time, that <laughs> I'm just, mellow, that, that I'm just D. Saying. Wade and LeBron were in Miami? I'm just, the Knicks have been irrelevant Ray, since the hey, late Stephen 90s. A, I'm just Stephen saying. A, give me, give me, Go hey, ahead, let me, try a, let me take, take a pass at this. Ray, take they were, I have a couple for you, but let's just start here. They, even if you don't want to define them as traditional rivals, they were the primary threat in the East, yes? Yeah, no, no doubt. Okay, so they're mad about that. You're going to the team that presented the primary threat, and maybe we're even the balance of power considering your shooting ability. Now you're adding that to a LeBron James team. Do you understand why they'd have hard feelings yeah, about yeah, that? Yeah, of course. And, and okay. like I said, I'll go back to um, when I knew that the relationship was over with. It wasn't, I didn't know where I was going to end up. But when you look at the, 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 the dominoes and how they fall, you have your options in front of you. I'm not going to sabotage myself because people are going to be mad that I go to, to Miami. Sure. I have an right. opportunity to win a, a championship ring. In South Beach. Let, let me, let me, yeah, let me, I mean, hey, once you put the, the cards on, on the table, like, you know, this, this is the best position I have. Once I know that, you know, my tenure in Boston is over, I have to go to where I know I'm going to have the best opportunity okay. to win. Like, what's Ray, wrong with that? Ray, you would do Ray, the same Ray. thing if you left. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. But here's, here's, let me say this. Okay. I would have done the same thing, maybe. Okay? But here's what I'm saying to you. Did you ever pick up the phone once you left and call well, the fellas? I, I will say this. In the midst, just like I told you, when you're, I'm going over Talk about after my, my contract. Right. I'm talking about as I'm going through it. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting in my backyard and I'm having conversations with Danny Ainge and, you know, he's relaying what, you know, Doc is saying and we're talking about this whole process and I'm with my agent and I'm talking to my wife and everybody and we're sitting here trying to figure this thing out. Like, we're trying to sign a deal back with Austin. Mm. And everything that was coming back to me was like, you know, if you want to be on board with what we're doing, you need to figure this out and you need to jump on board. Anything you want is not going to happen the way you want it. So I said, okay. And then I text KG and I said, listen, they're not going to pay me. He goes, no, nah, they're going to pay you. They're going to take care of you. It's going to be all right. You're part of the family. I was like, it's not looking like that. And then the next thing you know, I get off the phone with Danny, and he had a conversation with Doc, and he said, listen, if you want to be a part of this team, you need to sign this contract. So I said, next thing you know, I got Memphis, Minnesota, and Miami. The rest is history. Why, why do I have to apologize for doing something that I was supposed to do? When we, when we get drafted into this league, they tell us, do you, do you have goals of winning the championship? That's our mission. That's our goal. Wherever we end up, we're fortunate to be with a team that shares the same mindset. The players share the same mindset to want to come out and, and believe in the process every single day. That's been my mission forever. I've done it. I tried it in Milwaukee. I failed. Tried it in Seattle. I failed. Won in Boston. And then ultimately going to, to Miami. Just to be clear, so they're salty, you're not. I, I never was salty. You, you win a championship yeah. together in 2008. That's why I was shocked the day when I, I tried to at least give KG Pound. It wasn't, you know, yeah, I'm, a, I'm against you now. I understand. Like, you know, I'm an enemy to you now. But it's not personal. The only way we can appreciate what it is that we do is by our opposition. We understand our true greatness because the people next to us or across the, the aisle pushes us to be who we need so to be. So how did you feel because KG got Area 21, Max, and he got Area 21, and the crew showed up on TNT? Paul Pierce was there. Rondo was there. Perkins was there. They were all talking about you. How did you feel when you saw that well, segment? Two, two things. I was disappointed that... that Perkins was there. We had a conversation two weeks earlier, and he said he was out of the fray because he knew who I was and where I stood. Big Baby was there. He was talking about me, and Big Baby, I took underneath my wings, and I tried to do everything I can to help him be who, needed, who he needed to be for this league and grow him in this game. So those two players weren't even on the team right. in 2011, so they didn't even, they, they, they didn't even have the right to comment. Mm. So, <clears throat> excuse me, the other two, 
It's just you're talking about something. I would have I would have much more appreciated if you brought me on the show and you told me, you know, let, let's clear the air. Let's figure this out. KG like, should have invited like men, you on yeah, the show. Let's, let's mend the fences instead of being, you know, sitting here talking about why you're mad at me. You know, I'm a brother. KG and I grew up together. Like you're you're over here like where you we you forgotten where we the 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 genesis of our relationship, like we were kids struggling to make it mm. to make a life better for our kids and our families, like at what point do you just say, you know what it's it's just basketball, it's not personal, like we Ray, won why do you think they're so in their feelings about this as opposed to you? It seems that you're saying, hey, this is a business. I made a decision for my family. There are things bigger than basketball. And it seems as though they are very hurt by it. Why do you think that is? Especially that, KG. That is a question that you have to ask them. But <clears throat> one thing that, that I talk about in my book is uh, that I want people to get from my book is as, as people, we, we've all done great things and, you know, good things and bad things in our life. But what makes us truly great is our ability to pick up from our mistakes. Mm -hmm. We've all, I've all made mistakes. I can admit that. You know, the things that have gone wrong in my life, they've only got me to where I am today. I can tell you what I've done wrong. You know, I can tell you the, the, the shots I've missed. They've made me work harder. So I can admit that, you know, I, I should have, like, really thoroughly engaged those guys as I was going through the process. But it's difficult at the time. All right. Totally understand. Um, I felt extremely bad about not having a conversation with Paul at all. I had the opportunity in China to speak with him and say, listen, you know, it was not my intention to not say anything to you. I feel extremely bad about that. I should have ca called you. I should have texted you. I should have alerted you that this was coming down the pipeline. As I was conversating with Kevin by text, I was in a position where I, I was upset. I was angry because what was going on wasn't going the way I wanted it to go. Um, but at the same time, I, 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 he can't say that I wasn't talking to him and telling him what was going on because he knew as I, I, as I texted him. So now as we sit here, it's like, dude, there's no, there's no ill will. I don't have any angst. You know, these guys I love.